All right, so I made this video earlier, but my microphone wasn't being picked up, so I'm just going to replay it, and then I'll try to talk about uh, some of the things I was talking about. So in this video, you can see that I'm punching up on this uh, Thanos team. It, it's a pretty big punch up, but uh, I don't know if people realize how strong this Astonishing X-Men team is. But you can do a lot of sh shit with this team. It's crazy. Uh, so, yeah. I just decided to make this video in case people weren't sure if they should be building this team or how good this team actually was. Or if they just were like, ah, this is just a raid team. It's not really good for war. This team is good everywhere. Um, so basically, this is not a super hard fight, honestly. It like I've I've beat this team with a bigger jump up before. It all is basically beast if he if he lives or not. So here, the first thing you want to do is you don't press the ultimate no matter what you do because Thanos is gonna flip all the buffs. If you uh, do press ultimate, you are going to auto lose because Thanos will flip all the buffs and you'll just die. So don't do that, and you'll pretty much win no matter what you do. I think. Just focus on Thanos, or you you can just focus on like maybe the lesser guys. The big biggest problem in this uh, matchup you're gonna see is that you just stuck on this tank forever. I think uh, I don't know if like maybe I know they just buffed Iceman's focus, and I have him on sk skirmisher. I don't know if. That'll eventually let him do it. So here I did the heal to clear all these negatives. Basically the negatives are what kill you. You can you can win. I have I've beat these people with uh Bishop dying here. So you don't need Bishop to live, but obviously it's better if you have him up there. So most people always go for Thanos first, I I don't know if that's the best thing, but that's what I do in this video. I try to go kill Thanos as soon as I can kill him. But if you just knock down those other two people, I think you can easily outheal what Thanos is doing to you. So, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot to talk about here because, it, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like, what's going on? The reason I did that is because I was, uh, I didn't want to be stunned or anything. So I was thinking I could maybe blow her up, but then I saw that I threw the blind on her. So I was like, meh, that's good enough. I'm not going to worry about it. And I was trying to hit the stun with uh, Iceman, but I forgot that he didn't have a slow on him. The offense down, I was thinking it was a slow because he's stuck behind that fatty. I couldn't see what it was. <laughs> Beast is the all-star of this team, if you guys uh, didn't know. You really need uh, Bishop to uh, take the first blows. If he's strong enough to do that, you can survive it with just as long as your other team is good. Um, if you go back and watch like at the start where they had some immunities on and defense up and stuff, and I still use Iceman's ultimate. I forgot to say this uh, on the replay, but... The reason I did that is because they all had counter on them, and you want to get the counters off for so Beast doesn't get smashed by them again, because Iceman comes back to life, so you don't have to worry about him like that. Here you could, with uh, if you wanted to do the best setup, like that was pretty bad for me when I did Kitty Pride on Thanos. Like you could do the assist on Thanos there, but you could also have aimed it at uh, whatever this girl's name is and got the double tap with Jubilee, I think. But it doesn't really matter. As you can see, like, you're full health and they're dead. So this is a huge punch up. At the end of the video, I show off what my team's uh, stats are, but it really doesn't really, uh... They're all T14 except Beast, T15 on Beast. Um, yeah. 
I have one. I have the special gear piece for Bishop. But yeah, this team is insane. Uh, I I highly recommend getting them for uh, raids. They're really strong. Uh, I'm using them in arena right now, but I'm arena defense. I just put them on arena defense to see how that would work out. Uh, yeah. I haven't tried them when I've geared them up all the way like this. I haven't uh, tried them on arena offense yet because of the event that's going on for Moon Knight. But I'm going to eventually try that. So there's my X-Men team. You can see they don't have good stars, but they just blew through that team. I think Beast is like the main man, and the reason that I did that is because he's also on Astonishing X-Men and Uncanny X-Men, and he's probably going to be on some other ones too. He's, uh, I, he's so good, so... I'm about to get her a 5-star striker, and the reason you do that is because you want to be able to double tap on people with, and try to blind them. And uh, I have Raider on uh, this guy. Get right, I want to get 5-star on him because he can clear uh, the buffs, I think, when, uh, he, when he activates his uh, passive on their turn. And I, I'm not doing that. I'm not getting Bishop's Blaster to roll all the way up, up there. Because he's a blaster, and I think that when they put Gambit in the game, he'll be a blaster. But if not, then I'll I'll, I'll use him on Bishop. I'm just saving them right now for uh, Gambit. I don't know when he's coming, but I would like to use him. Eventually, when Gambit comes, I'm going to spend everything I have on him. So, and here I'm gonna I'm just showing off that uh, my symbiote team here. They are. Like more geared than uh, that astonishing X X Men team or whatever they're called, and in raids in U seven, even when the astonishing X Force or X Men were uh, purple to gear, they were doing better on auto than the Simio team. So yeah, it's insane how good they are. So yeah, see you later. I highly recommend building this team.